tonight is James 4 and 8. James 4 and 8. And again, increasing your relationship with Christ. And that's what we want to talk about here tonight. So it says, come near to God. Okay. And then it says, with a contrite or remorseful heart. You want to get close to God? Get humble. Get right. Okay? And it says, and God will come near to you, you sinners. It says, clean sin out of your lives. Clean, purify your hands. Clean up your behavior. Okay, now this is the part I want us to hear, really. You who are trying to follow God and the world, at the same time, okay? You cannot have a foot in the church and a foot in the world because the truth of the matter is if you think that, what you have is both feet in the world and no feet in the church, okay? And that's just the way it is. Ain't no ifs and buts about it. It says you double-minded ones, make your thinking pure, purify your heart, clean up your inner or personal lives. That passage I said a few minutes ago is the epitome of an oxymoron. Uh, you who are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. It's like saying that's a holy demon. That's a God-blessed devil. Don't go together. Okay? That being said, how do we increase our relationship with Christ, Brother Dean. Let's go to John 14, verses 15, 21, 23, and 24. You ain't got to find it. If you got it, you got it. If you don't, you don't, and it's going out over the air so y'all can get it. 15 says, how do you do it, preacher? He says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. How do you love and get closer to Christ? Keep his commandments. 21 says, whoever has my commandments, and, there's an and there. So we got his commandments, they're right here, right? But there's a conjunction here, meaning there's something coming after that, right? Ever heard that conjunction, junction, what's your function? Hooking up phrases and clauses and such like. So let's see what he's saying. You can have it, you can have it. But if you don't do the other part, it ain't going to do you no good. So it says, and keeping them, he it is who loves me. So if you want to get close to Christ, you want to love Christ, you got to know his commandments and you have to keep them. 23 says, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word. Do you love God? Then you need to know this book. From the beginning to the end, all the instructions are here. Everything God has for you is here. 24 is a little bit different. 24 says, whoever does not, emphasis is not love me, does not keep my word. Let me say this about this. Here's God's word. I'm not going to embarrass nobody, but just think about it. How many of us have read through it, studied it, got the instructions, know what to do, know how to please God out of this book? If somebody had told you when you was younger, if y'all, if those of us who are older, those of us who are younger, when you get a little bit older, you met this girl or you met this guy, and you say, I'm just in love with that person. I, ooh, I just, and I just, and, and then comes Brother Stephan and says, well, brother, this book right here tells everything you want to know about that person. Tells you what they like, what they love, what they need. They'll fall in love with you. They'll marry you. They'll do everything for you. We are devout. Ow. Come on, tell me you would. Tell me you would. We would eat that book up. Well, this is about Jesus and how we get right and love Jesus and get closer to Jesus. Don't we want to do that? Amen. Well, then we should devour this. We're going to read Harry Potter all the way through. We're going to read all these books that's this thick, but we can't read this one. Okay? So we must, as the Bible says, bear fruit. Right? We want to love Jesus. We want to increase our relationship with Christ. So how do we do that? John 15, 1 through 17 says, 
I am the true vine. And my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me, that means a Christian because you can't be in Christ if you're not a Christian, right? Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he taketh away. Wait a minute. I thought once saved, always saved. Once a friend of Christ, always a friend of Christ. What does it say here? Watch it when they tell you stuff. Listen to this. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that continues, it's not a one-time thing to bear fruit. He repeatedly prunes so that it will bear more fruit, even richer, finer fruits. God going to fix you up if you do a little bit. He's going to make you better, better, and better at it. Yes, sir. going to give you some better fruit. Yes, sir. You are already clean because of the word which I have given you. Uh-huh. The teachings which I have discussed with you. Well, you say, preacher, he didn't discuss no word with me. Yes, he did. He gave it all right here. Here it is. Spend some time in this. Let the TV shows go. Let the gossip go. Let the, what, what was that we just played? Mailbox thing go. And, and, and thus says the Lord. He says, <laughs> Jesus says, remain in me and I will remain in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit by itself. Without remaining in the vine. So that means Christians can decide not to remain in Christ. Yes, sir. Huh? Right. Yes, Talk to me. Neither can you bear fruit. Producing evidence. You got to have fruit to produce evidence. All Listen right. to that. All producing right. evidence of your faith. Unless. Unless you remain in me. How do you remain in Christ? The word. I am the vine. You are the branches. Yes, the one who remain in me. And I in him. Bears much fruit, not some fruit, not a little fruit. You're going to bear much fruit. We're going to get to what this fruit is or some of the fruit in a few. For otherwise, apart from me, that is cut off from vital union with me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is thrown out. What you say, preacher? He is thrown out like a broken off branch. Look out now, Christian. We're talking about Christians here. And withers. You ever seen withering? And dies. Well, we say we die. We're going to come back anyway. We all right. Wait a minute. There's more. There's an here. And they gather. I don't know who the they is. I ain't going to try to do more than what the Bible says. But it says, and they gather such branches and throw them into the fire. And they are burned. Ever heard of hell? Ever heard of lake of fire? If you want to get close to Christ, you got to bear some fruit. If you remain in me and my word remains in you, that is, if we are vitally united and my message lives in your heart, watch how God is awesome here. Ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. What you say, preacher, I'm wishing well. He's No, no, no. What I'm saying is you ain't going to ask for nothing. It's not in his word. You ain't going to do nothing that he, he told you not to do. You ain't. It's here. So when you ask, you're going to ask according to this. And when you ask according to this, God ain't going to lie. He said, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. Don't you want that? Don't you want that? We need to try God. Glory, hallelujah, somebody. (laughs) Dr. Phil, yes, sir. My father, watch this. God says, my father is glorified and honored by this. What this? When you bear much fruit. What is this fruit, preacher? When you bear much fruit. We getting there. And prove yourself to be my true disciples. That means you can have some disciples that are not true. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Just saying. All right. Some people that stand they're close to Jesus want to get close to Jesus and really don't. Hmm. I have loved you just as the Father has loved me. That's an awesome thing. Yes. Remain in my love, he says. His love, God's love, Jesus' love. Sometimes we don't think about what that means. The love of Jesus Christ. And do not doubt. He said, don't doubt it. Don't worry about it. My love for you. Do not doubt it. And listen at 10. If, 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 there's an if there. That means you, what? He says, if you keep my commandments and obey my teachings, you will remain in my love. Come on, y'all. 
You got to do this to remain in his love, to get yes, closer sir. to Christ. Yes, sir. Just as I have kept my father's commandments and remain in his love, I have told you these things so that my joy, the joy of Jesus Christ yeah. and delight yep. may yep. be in you yep. and that yep. your joy, Christians, this is what Jesus wants for us, that your joy may be made full and complete, my verse says, and overflowing. You're going to infect somebody because you overflow. A lot of people are going to get wet. Yes, sir. Right? A lot of people are going to get wet. Uh, yes, sir. So, let's go on here because it's going to get good. We're going to get to some of this fruit here. This is my commandment. What is your commandment, Christ? That you love and says, says unselfishly oh, seek the best, watch out y'all, the best, the best for one another. Is that what we do, Christians? We don't backbite, we don't fight, we don't argue, we don't shout, we don't shame each other. We seek the best for each other because we love each other because we want to get closer to Christ. Is that right? All righty then. Just as I have loved you, we got to love each other yes, up in here yes. the way Christ loved us. Didn't yes. Christ die for us? Yes, Even when we didn't like him, mm. he died for us. Yeah. Let me ask you this. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but let me ask you this. Which one of these Christians up in here you going to die for? My Lord, my mm. I'll die for Christ, will you? Yeah. Will you? I'm just saying. No one has greater love nor stronger commitment than to lay down his own life for his friend. You lay down your life for Christ. Will you lay down your life for your brothers and sisters in Christ? Will you lay down your life for the gospel? 14 says you, well, listen to what God is saying to us, brothers and sisters. We want to get close to him. Listen to what he says. You are my friends. Again, but then he has that if. If you keep on doing, I can't just do it at Christmas time. I can't just do it at New Year's and then yeah. do it uh, uh, on, on what is it, Easter and then do it uh, 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 what, what day? Mother's Day. No. <clears throat> 24 hours a day, yes. 7 days a week, 365 yes. days a year. Yes, sir. If you keep on doing what I command you, I do not call you servants. Come on, doctor. Any longer. Come on, come on. For the servant does not know what his master is doing. Come on, come on. But I have called you my, yes, sister, yes, sister, my friends. Yes, oh, God is calling us his friends because I have revealed to you everything that I have heard from my father. No, you haven't. You haven't revealed nothing to me, Brother Dean. I don't know what you're talking about. We got it all Come on. right here. Come on, doctor. You, you have, have not chosen me, Christ says, but I have chosen you and I have appointed yeah. and placed and purposefully planted you so that you would go and bear fruit and keep on bearing and keep on bearing, keep on bearing and that your fruit remains and be lasting so that Hallelujah. Whatever you ask, there it is again. Come on, God, how many times you got to tell us? Whatever you ask of the Father in my name, as my representatives, he may give it to you. Yes. Did you hear that? Try God. This is what I command you. And here it is again. Are you ready for it? On, that you love and unselfishly seek the best, the best for one another. You want to get closer to Christ? Look to your left, look to your right, look behind you, look in front of you, and you got to get close to these people up in here. You ain't getting close to Christ if you can't get close to Christians here, because let me tell you this, when you think you're going to heaven, <clears throat> I'm going to heaven, I done made it, and then I get the girl, I go up there, and I see Brother Omar there, and me and Brother Omar done fell out, and we going, we going, he ain't going in, I'm going in, he ain't going in, I'm going in. and then we'll tell you what's going to happen. One of you or both of you ain't going in because ain't going to be no strive up Amen. in heaven. Yes. God ain't heaven. So we better get it right Amen. here. Amen. Come on, Amen. 
Galatians 5, 22 and 23. <clears throat> fruit. Let's get to some fruit. Let's get to some fruit. Some more fruit. But the fruit of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit. The results of His presence within us. It's just a result of the Holy Spirit being in us, right? It's what, Brother Dean? It's love. Love is unselfish concern for another. That's a, you want some fruit? That's some fruit. You got to do love. That's a fruit. God wants to see your fruit, see more of it. Joy. Do you have joy? Huh? Oh, everybody's worrying me. I ain't got no joy. You got to bear some fruit. The world got to see your fruit. Peace, patience, and long suffering. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Not just the ability to wait, but how we act yes, sir. while we wait. Yes, sir. And I've been in this land all day long. Sister, why you just giving me the food now? I've been here all day long. I take the food. But I mean, you're good at this. You're good at this. Man, I'm telling you, y'all just, man, all these Christians. Up in here. No, great That's us. That's us. Yes, Is that us? Yeah. How do we wait? Right? With some gentleness, fruit, uh-huh. or kindness, as it says. Some more fruit, goodness, faith, or faithfulness, meekness. A humbleness. Yes, Can we humble ourselves? Are we teachable? Are we willing to listen? Even though, you know, well, I'm the Bobby. I'm the Bobby and the Bobby. I know everything. You can't teach the Bobby nothing that I don't know. Yeah. You leave the Bobby alone. The Bobby knows everything. Yeah. Right. By the way, that's my first name. Yeah. Um, <laughs> listen, listen. Listen, sometimes even if you know it, be humble yes, sir. and listen because yes, you just might hear God through somebody telling you something you yes, didn't hear or know before. Yes, sir. Be humble. Yes, sir. Be humble. And here we go. Here, here's, here's, here's a good one right here. Self-control. The temperance is there, but self-control. Yeah. Do we have any of that? You know, I... Y'all, you know you made me mad, honey. You made me mad. That's why I ate up all ice cream and I just got my stomach ate and I got to throw up. You, you made me mad. You made me mad. That's why I went out and drank up until I got drunk. I just, you know, you made me mad. Huh? What, what'd you say? <laughs> Again, mad ain't in there either. That don't get close to Christ either. It says, against such things, there is no law. So we need to show some fruit of love, some fruit of joy, some fruit of peace, some fruit of patience, some fruit of kindness. Amen. Goodness, faithfulness, humbleness. Self control. <clears throat> and here we go. And the winning of lost souls. Look out now. Making disciples of Christ. Yes, Being a soul winner for Christ. Yes, sir. What you say, preacher? I didn't see that in the scripture. Well, let me give you the scripture. Matthew 28 18 through 20 says, And Jesus came to them and spake unto them, saying, All authority has been given unto me in heaven and on earth. Why did he say that? Because he wanted you to know who he was and what authority he had before he tell you what he wants you to do. Okay? So now you know who he is. Then he says, 19, Go ye, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, peoples, peoples. Oh, I'm prejudiced. I don't like Jews. I don't like Caucasian people. I don't like Asian people. I don't even like Afro-American people. Only person I like is me. Yes, sir. Well, we in trouble there because that nations there means peoples, and that's all nations, all peoples, all races. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And here's the part we like to skip over, teaching them. You're going to go get people saved. You ain't going to teach them. You ain't going to give them what thus said the Lord. You're just going to set them out there so Satan can eat them up. It says, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I command you, and lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the world. This is how you get closer to Christ. Yes, sir. When people see us, they should see some love. They should see some joy. Yes. They should see us forgiving each other, hugging each other. We just smiling. Yes, sir. In the midst of the trial, in the midst of the storm, we are smiling, and we are telling them about Christ. Yes, sir. Do you go anywhere and tell anybody about Christ? Just saying. Now, there are some opposites to that. I, I'm, I'm going to skip past some of them right now. There's some opposites to that. You know, if you, if you want to be lascivious and fornicate and adultery and all that kind of, that gets your father away from Christ. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can read that when you get home. That's Galatians 5, 19 through 21. Yeah. You read all about that stuff. Uh, I'm going to read it. Read it. <laughs> I'm going to do one here that, that fits in with my scripture. Uh, and that's variance. Variance, I want us to get this, preachers. 
teach us. Brothers and sisters, churches of Christ. Variance is the fact a quality of being different, divergent, or inconsistent. The state or fact of disagreeing or quarreling, conflict, division. When it comes to the word of God, brothers and sisters, all friends of Christ. Is that what you want to be? Christians should be the same when it comes to the word of Jehovah. Oh, no, Bobby, we're autonomous. <clears throat> we are autonomous. Let me give you autonomous here. Autonomous has its place, but let me give you, well, Bobby, give me some scripture, preacher. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. What did he say? How are you going to get close to Christ? Why did he say churches? Why did he say preachers? Why did he say teachers? He says, but I urge you believers, that's Christians, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all, not some, not a few, not a couple, all of you be in full, some, kind of, no, full agreement in what you say, and that there be no division or factions among you, but that you be perfectly united in the way of thinking and in your judgment about matters of the faith. You got that? That's how you get closer to Christ. If everything we do is fighting and upset and we doing this and doing that, it's not it. It's not it. So, if we want to increase our relationship with Christ, to grow closer to Elohim, God Almighty, yeah, yeah. we should be exhibiting the attributes of the fruit of Christ. Yes, Love, joy, peace, patience, hallelujah, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humbleness, self-control. We should be, as I said, winning lost souls, making disciples of Christ, being a soul winner for Christ, keeping Jehovah Jireh, our Provider. Yes, sir. Jehovah Rapha, yes, sir. our healer, yes, right. almighty Elohim, yes. Yes. statutes yes. and commandments. Not Come because on. we have to, Come on. Come on. But, Come on. but because we love Elohim yes, sir. Yes. and we want to please him and increase our relationship with him. Yes, sir. Why? Because of the love, respect, and yes, honor we feel for Elohim. All right. Yes, right. Is that right? All right. Yes, sir. Is that what you want? You want to get closer to Christ? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, if you say you want to get closer to Christ. Yes, sir. Let me tell you this. We, we, get, we get to doing this and people say, well, I can't do that. You know, everything's coming against me. Everything's coming against me. Everything's fighting against me. I can't do it. It's so much in the world. It's trying to mess me up. Okay. Scripture. Come on. Romans 8, Come on. 35 Come on. through 39. What did it say, preacher? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, yeah. a distress, a persecution, yeah. a famine, a nakedness, a peril, a sword? Come on. Hmm? As it is written, my brothers, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep to the slaughter. Nay, don't tell me that. Let me tell you this. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Don't be scared. God didn't give you a spirit of fear. 38, for it says, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things. What? Right here, right now, today. Nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature should be able Say it, preachers, separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, yes. our Lord. Hallelujah, somebody. Yes. Huh? Yes. This is the only, this is the thing we need to know. That's it. Don't be afraid. You know something? There is only one person that can separate you from Elohim. Come on, Come on, <laughs> Almighty Jehovah. And that is us. Right. It's not the devil. The devil made me do it. No. We are the only ones who have 
the power to choose if we are going to be closer to Yeshua HaMashiach or Almighty Elohim or not. The choice is ours and ours alone. If you want to be closer to Jesus the Christ, a best friend of God, there is only one way. We have to keep Jehovah's statutes and commandments. We have to do things God's way. This ain't no Burger King. This is God's thing and it's done God's way. If we do anything less than this, we are choosing not to be closer or a true friend to Elohim. We are choosing hell over heaven. The worldly flesh over the Holy Spirit. Satan over Christ. The power of choice is 100% ours. We can't blame our choice on anything or anyone else. We're getting to it now. About to get through. John 4 and 20 tells us a little bit about that fruit. And again, I want us to love each other. It says, if a man says, I love God. Y'all know this scripture. You want to get closer to Christ, this is what you got to do. If a man says, I love God and hateth his brother and hateth his brother and hateth his brother and hateth his brother and hateth his sister and hateth the kids and hateth somebody in the church. Silence. Say it, preacher. He is a liar. But I love God. No, you don't. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? We must love our brothers and sisters. Smile, hug them, kiss them. We must love our brothers and sisters. And if we want to increase our relationship with Christ, where is our fruit of love? As I close, if we want to increase our relationship with Christ, to be a true friend, of Jesus Christ and not a so-called friend or a friend of convenience. You know, well, as long as Jesus do for me, as long as Jesus do everything for me and he goes where I want to go and do what I want to do and this thing is good. Is that how you do your friends? When your friends want to do something, you don't have no time for them. You don't have no time for Christ. If you love your friend, you'll go to things that you may not think you want to go to because you love them and you want to see them happy. Do you want to see God happy? But... Not, not a friend of convenience, but a friend indeed yeah. that is closer, yeah. Brother Stephens, than a brother. Yes, a friend who is willing to give their life uh-huh. for their friend. Is that you? Come on. <clears throat> Come on. We must what? study God's word. Yes, we must know God's word. Yes, if we want to be closer to Christ, yes. keep it, do it, obey it. Elohim statutes and commandments. Yes. We must bear Fruit, yes. much fruit. Yes. We must love, oh Lord, yes. our brothers and sisters. Yes. We must forgive what you say. No, you yes. didn't. No, you Come didn't. On. I can't. Ooh, boy, I just, you, you see, I don't sit back there no more. What? What you say? Oh, look out now. What? I can't, I can't, I can't do it. We must forgive them when they ask us to. He, oh, no, don't let me avoid them because he's going to ask me to get my, man, let me get in this water. No, don't ask me because I ain't forgiving you. Well, you're supposed to forgive me before I even ask you. We must exhibit love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humbleness, self-control. We must all be in full agreement yes, sir. in what we yes. say, having no division of factions among us. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, we must be perfect. United yes, together yes, in love, yes, happy, yes. joy. We grab hands. Come here, Mac. I'm sorry, darling. Give me a second. I shouldn't have grabbed your hand. Come here, Mac. Come here, Mac. I don't know. It's been a long time, but we can do it. You, know, you remember how to do this? Skip it. <laughs> together. Oh. oh. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. I won't do too much to you, brother. Seven. Let that. Let the people see our joy and our happiness. We must be full agreement in what we say. Having no division of factions among us, we must be perfectly united in the way for thinking and in our judgment about matters of the faith. Amen, somebody. Thank you. Amen.
Here we go. We must be about winning lost souls, no matter what you say. Making disciples of Christ. Being soul winners for Christ. Taking the gospel of Christ to all people of the whole world. Teaching them. Glory, hallelujah. This is how we increase our relationship with Christ. By being obedient to the word of Elohim. The choice is yours. Be or not to be a friend of Jesus Christ. That is the question. That is the question. If you want to be it, he's told us how to be that. Listen, that's it. That's all. If you don't love your brothers and sisters, I don't give a care what you're doing, how much money you're giving, and what you're saying, and what you're talking about. You're talking loud and ain't saying nothing. Love your brothers and sisters. Yeah, they do, they do some wrong. Yeah, you did some wrong. What is it? Romans 3 and 23. Hmm. From the pulpit all the way out to the door. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Get pious if you want to. God going to check you at the door. If you got a second here, I'm, I'm, I'm through. But it's something I like to say at the end of the year, if Brother Omar will give me this two in. <clears throat> this is what I want to say to you all. Do you know how to be friends now? Don't you know how to be close to Christ? So you got that. I know. May God bless you and God keep you and be closer to Christ. I love you, my brothers and sisters. God bless.